Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, I pray for my YouTube audience, Lord. I pray that you lead them, that you guide them, inspire them, you prosper them. I pray that you protect them. And I pray, I pray that you heal them, Lord. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I've often said, I'm nothing but the dust of the earth. And actually that's true if you think about it. But I am God's dirt, and I will do as God commands me to do. I uh, want to tell you about something that happened to me. I don't even know if you can call it a dream. This happened actually a couple months ago. I was in bed, and I don't know if I was sleeping. I don't know if I was awake. I, 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 I couldn't tell you. But all of a sudden... It was like my spirit separated from my body, and then my spirit left my body, and my body was, was lying in bed, and when I realized what had happened and what was going on, and it was like being in two different places at the same time, and, and when my spirit left my body, I was, I was like paralyzed, I was unable to move, I, I could think perfectly well, but I, I couldn't move, I couldn't make a sound or nothing. And I thought that I was opening my mouth and I thought that I was screaming and I was screaming and screaming and screaming and I and I it was amazing to me that nobody was waking up and I, I was screaming I thought I was screaming so loud that the whole house should, should have woken up now where my spirit went it, it left my body and it was in a dark place didn't go to heaven, didn't go to hell, it was just, it was in limbo, it was in a dark place. And I, I was confused, and I, I couldn't figure out why. And while I was screaming, all of a sudden I, I, I cried out one word, Jesus. And as soon as I said that word, my soul instantly fell right back into my body. And when it did... I, I was out of breath instantly. I realized that I was out of breath from trying to do all that screaming. And I was panting, trying to catch my breath. And I was trying to ask my wife, I says, how come you didn't, how come you didn't wake up? How come you didn't answer me? I was screaming, I was screaming. And she said, I didn't hear a word. I didn't hear nothing. And uh, I, that was so, I, I never had anything like that ever happen to me before. So I, uh, I prayed on it. I talked to my minister about it. All he could tell me to do was just, just pray and ask the Holy Spirit for, for guidance on it. So I, I prayed for several days on it. And finally the Holy Spirit revealed something to me. Basically a sin that I, I didn't even know that I did. It, it just, it was... But, but I'll tell you what happened. I have a stepson that he's OCD and he washes his hands a lot. Well, he's the last several months he started washing not only his hands, but he'll wash his arms and his chest, his face, he'll dunk his whole head into the sink, and, and we have a spray nozzle that attaches uh, it has on a hose that comes apart from the sink, and he just sprays his whole head, his face, and it just gets water everywhere, all of the counters, just everywhere, and it kind of upset me, and and the, the kids had already ruined the bathroom floor, and they had a soft spot where the tile broke in the bathroom, and now that needs to be fixed, and it, it, it irritated me. I went in there, the morning of that dream, I went in there in the kitchen, and he was spraying everywhere, got water all over everywhere, and then he left. Well, it, it, it upset me, and it, I grabbed that spray nozzle from the kitchen sink, and I just I just hosed down the whole counter, and I don't know why I did that. I it just Satan grabbed a hold of me and just, but I I, I wet down that whole counter, and I my idea was my thinking was that. I'm not going to let them ruin my house. If anybody ruins my house, I'm going to run it. That was my attitude. And I, I, I prayed and I prayed and I prayed on it when it was real, it revealed to me. And, and, I, and I got right with God on it. But still, it, it amazed me how Satan was able to just kind of creep in and, and just and do that to me. 
We all need to be aware that in these last days, Satan is busying himself, himself and he's warming his way in, in anywhere, any way he can to try to disrupt people, to divide people. In my house right now, my air conditioning went out. It's 100 degrees. It's been 100 degrees the last two days. It's hot. You get people, you get them hot, they, they get irritable. And uh, I laugh about it. But, yeah, I, I pray on it and give it to, give it to God. And, and uh, but uh, I, I, I pray for all of you. In all sincerity, I, I pray for all of you. I pray that you all come to know the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And in these last days, he is the only one. He's the only one. And I pray for all of you that you come to know the saving grace of Jesus. And get in Jesus' will and in his grace. And that you be pleasing to God. Because of all the things that I pray for, I pray to be pleasing to God. Because if I'm not, then all is lost. And I pray for you.